This keyboard really doesn't need an introduction because it has a really big following online and it has been sold out and low stock everywhere. But obviously there's a reason for that. And that's why today we're going to be looking at all the pros and all the cons of this keyboard. So when I was looking online at the Ducky, I saw a bunch of positive reviews and I thought I'd have to check this out. The Ducky is a 60% keyboard that retails at $100, with some sites being a little bit extra, but most of the time it's going to be $100. Not sure about everywhere else in the world, but it actually costs 120 US dollars here in Australia, which is a little bit extra, but it's definitely worth it. Inside the box, you will receive a manual, a warranty, a keycap puller, and some extra keycaps. They will give out random colors so you don't get to choose what ones you get, but most colors will look really good on your keyboard anyway, and I think anything other than black spices your keyboard up a little bit and gives it some character. Older versions of this keyboard also include a U of the Dog spacebar, which looks amazing when the RGB shines through it, and it is such a small detail but makes this keyboard stand out so much from other companies. The newer version will also include a U of the Pig spacebar, which is, in my opinion, still as sick as a dog, but obviously there'd be a lot of people out there that would prefer the dog over the pig. So this keyboard is actually built really well for being plastic and has a two-tone design to it. On the bottom it is white and on the top it is black with the white backplate in the middle to make the RGB reflect off really well, it looks really nice. Not only is it built well, it also is a very lightweight keyboard, so and it's very, obviously it's very compact so if you need to take it somewhere you can just chuck it in a bag and it's no hassle at all. To plug in this keyboard you will receive a USB-C plug which is always a plus and this keyboard also includes double shot PBT keys which are the best on the market at the moment. Inside of your keys you will notice a bunch of commands for your computer. This is a 60% keyboard so obviously you don't have some keys that you might use on a daily basis. For example, I need to use delete a lot in Photoshop. So what I need to do is press the function key and backspace at the same time and that will act as delete. So if this keyboard doesn't have a key that you're used to pressing all the time, then you just got to figure out what key it is to press and press the function key at the same time. It is a bit awkward to get used to, but you will get used to it in no time, so don't worry. So when you buy this keyboard, you have the option to choose out of six Cherry MX switches. That includes black, blue, brown, red, silent reds, and speed silvers. I personally went with brown because I love the feel of the tactile key switches, and browns have always been a nice, calming sound to me. They're also one of the most popular switches today but you can't go wrong with any of the key switches, it's all personal preference. I'll drop a sound test now of the Cherry MX Browns. This keyboard also comes with two different feed settings, which I know a lot of competitors actually don't have two settings, they only have one. Um, you can use this keyboard laying down flat on a medium setting or on a high setting, which is my personal favorite. So now to the RGB, which is a lot of people's favorites. This keyboard is really good for RGB. It's one of the brighter keyboards I've seen. The, the RGB really shines through and just, it looks really good even from a distance. So to change the RGB on this keyboard, you need to hold the ALT key, the function key, and press T to swap through the modes such as Spiral, Rainbow, Raindrop. And there's plenty more, but they're not that interesting. There's a lot of customization, but there's not heaps compared to keyboards like Razer and other competitors. But each key is fully customizable, so if you want a certain key to be a certain color, you can do that, which is really good. So there's only two small cons about this keyboard that I noticed and they're definitely not deal breakers to me at least, but I thought they were worth mentioning. So on my keyboard, the, the two sides, oh, you should be able to hear it now, when you're pushing it, it's just a bit squeaky, which like I said, isn't a deal breaker, but it's, it's annoying. The only other con I'd say is not having a software. Personally, I prefer change the RGB on the keyboard but I know there would be a fair amount of people that would prefer software and they just so they don't have to navigate their way through pressing all these buttons to get it done but like I said this just nitpicking and it's honestly not a deal breaker whatsoever 
but besides those it's this keyboard is just great and overall I think it has everything you need and it's just a really good keyboard if you've been thinking about buying one I'd just say go ahead you can't go wrong it feels great looks great and it's, it's a great size for your desk and gives you so much more room anyway thanks for watching the video guys uh, leave a like if you want leave a dislike if it was bad but anyway enjoy the rest of your day guys I'm out